Hello everyone, Tanak here. Welcome to episode 39 of Building My Industrial Empire and in EU Online. So we will start with the usual progress report. Uh, at the total of net worth of me and the corporation, uh, my characters in the corporation is uh, 58.9 billion. So if you look at the Tanak, Tanak has passed 40 billion. And Erica is at 2.8. Uh, Gonzara's Toy Company is at 15 billion in procurement, uh, 280 mil. So it's because, okay, high level explanation. Uh, we're collapsing everything that was in procurement into Toy Company. Uh, so uh, that's uh, procure. We're basically merging back into a single entity right now because we are no longer going to hold any structure directly into Toy Company, and we want to minimize the administrative overhead. So everything is collapsing back in one company. Uh, Tanak has a little boost if you compare with uh, the last week. Uh, Tanak has a little boost. Uh, Part of it is because of the move, uh, there are some corp asset in my uh, personal hangar. Uh, I think like I got like 1.5 bill of blueprint or almost 2 bill of blueprint uh, that are in my personal asset because we haven't found our new home yet. Uh, but uh, aside from that, the rest is uh, progressing normally. Uh, as you see, well, it's, it's a growth. Uh, this week has been a little slower. I'll explain why when we get to that point. Uh, on the HR perspective, we're starting to collapse everything back into Toy Company. So we got a bunch of members that are that have been switched over to Toy Co. Uh, a few of them that are older account. Uh, I would say that after. Uh, leaving on unpro strictly unprofessional uh, we have uh, about 35 40 warm body in corporation uh, some of them are more more casual than other uh, this is where we're going to build from uh, starting now uh, so uh, the big thing is okay if we go back a few months well about like five five six weeks uh, we were in Avenger uh, with the war from or with with a, at war with Erd uh, and we were we were getting hit at multiple time and at that point we decided to join strictly unprofessional uh, then we started liquidating our Avenger asset. Uh, we sold all our station and incurred a compressor in Charmarot and we started moving toward, uh, moving close to Strictly Unprofessional. And then, well, there was what happened in the last episode. Basically, it didn't work out some, uh, n not big disagreement, but some, some point that were, uh, uh, that didn't work out uh, as I, as I expected. So we ended up leaving the Alliance uh, this week, uh, but a few of our members stayed with the Alliance. So a few, uh, a good portion, uh, a significant portion of our members stayed with the Alliance. So right now we are, uh, we are looking for our new home. And uh, you will, I'll, some people were saying that I don't do enough, uh, as much math as I used to. And I'll show you the, the mat that I've been doing, okay? And this is the mat for finding our new home. And this is also part of the, well, the structure, the Quantum Core patch uh, changed the game a little bit because it it makes it, it it's going to make, Basically, going to turn all structure into a little loot pinata, uh, bashing uh, an Isaac Atenor. Or, uh, bashing an Atenor will pay straight uh, 700 mil uh, plus the loot before you only add the loot, uh, and the Tatara is like 3.5 bill. So this is pushing a lot of orb that 
don't want to have to fight to reduce their structure footprint. Uh, and one for me, when I started, one of my main point was that I want to move beyond ISEC industry. Uh, the goal of guns was always to, to be able to do efficient industry. And efficient industry, the first step of efficient industry is uh, refining. You take what you mine and you refine. So you need efficient refining. And I don't want to go into the semantic that, okay, you can produce by buying mineral. Even with the best setup, Mining is a large part of what you will do as an industrialist. Uh, I don't know that many industrialists that just buy their ore. You, you can't mine everything yourself. Some large uh, null group are buying a lot of ore. But at our current level, mining is a significant source of income. Uh, so for us, uh, we were what the deep analysis that we did was basically what what's the refining rate that we're getting and you an npc station you will get the base 50 percent an ethanol you get base 51 and a tatara you pay oh, so some of my stuff here are not good uh, oh yeah uh, okay yeah a t1 rig will get you a base 51 percent and a T2 rig will get you a base 53. And then you have a bonus for an Athenor and a Tara, and you have a sec bonus where you are. So trust my math if you want, <laughs> or not do it yourself if you don't want to trust it. Uh, but basically that's, that's the amount, the maximum refining efficiency that you can get at each, st each station. And what you will see here is that that is with max skill and a plus a four percent in plan so the max that you can get at an npc station is 72.4 percent the max you will get in let's let's be realistic here uh, with the structure cost the rig cost and the quantum core we're talking for a tatara a t1 tatara and a t1 tatara is not as good as a T2 at an or for a lot more. So we're talking at least 15 built. So guns is not going to go buy a Tatara anytime in the near future. So let's compare just at an or a T2 at an or, which is with an army, we could buy that. Uh, a T2 at an or in ISEC will give you 78%. The same at an or in low will give you 82.9 so that's about five percent more but so you say okay well tanak uh, five percent is not that much to tell you how you need to look at it is here is the price this is the current gita buy of one well current when i did the the, the math this morning uh, of one compressed velspar one compressed velspar should give you uh 400 and if you're refining at a hundred percent if you had to have a hundred percent efficiency it would give you five uh 415 tritanium and then what i calculated here is the value of the refined goods so that's the value gita by of the compressed velspar and gita by of the tritanium that you would get refining it at that rate and as you can see even with max skill at an NPC station, you are losing money refining. At the T2, T1 Athenor and ISEC, you are losing money. E2 Athenor and ISEC, you are making a little, and that's not that much. And I'm I'm and I'm not even counting fuel cost in there. T1 Tatara, not even worth it. Not even worth it, the T1 Tatara and ISEC. At least with Vel, Velspar when I look, but it's it's basically the same where, where everything. So you start to have positive gain 
with a T2 rig in ISEC and they're very, very small. And then when you get into low, then you start to have like, like decent, uh, a decent amount of profit. So you're adding a decent amount of value refining. If you're in ISEC, sell your ore, <laughs> compress and sell your ore. It's better than refining. That, that's, that's the conclusion I have from, and, and do the math yourself. But for me, that's that's what I uh, th that's how I, I saw it. So something that could be within reach of guns and that would actually make refining interesting would be a T2 Atenor in low. Obviously, those uh, null people and wormhole people have a huge advantage here because of the system bonus that is a lot higher. So that's that's just for the Atenor. So that just for refining. Now I'll check I'll, where I had it open it open somewhere here. Okay. That's lazy blacksmith here. Now let's just try the same thing with uh, production. Okay. We're gonna go with uh, capital car, uh, capital cargo bay blueprint. Okay, this, this when you build an obelisk, you got to build a, a hundred of those. So, if you look at it, you are making, you're producing it at, you're making about one percent each. That's an ISAC. Okay, get the t, get the T two rig. The T2ME rig, so that, that would be a right arrow in ISAC. Boom. Oh, you're starting to make money. You're making like a half a million, well, no, for like 400,000 per component. You're building a hundred of those, so it is starting to get interesting. Again, that T2 in, in low. Oof, you're, you're making. 50% more profit because your margin, yeah, you're making, if you look at the percent here, you're making, okay, instead of 3.76, you're making 5.2. So you're making 2% more, but the important thing is not that percent, is the, the amount of gain on your profit, on your margin. So you're you're double you're getting at least fifty percent, and if you go into low, compare that here, okay, four hundred thousand. Now imagine you get a low sec ethanol with a Tucker ring, okay, and that is well within our mean to to buy to buy that. Boom! You're almost doubling your profit. You're you're doubling your profit on any every capital component you're building. So, so it's not the amount of getting a little more. It's it's a double the profit being in low. Is it, you're doubling your mar margin, uh, and and add to that that you will also build the ship, and you will also put a rig for the ship, and it's significant increase in in yield. So basically, my conclusion is that. ISEC industry is barely worth it. Bar barely. I mean, you you can. I'm not saying you cannot find anything that is worth it. You will find something, but if you want to do something large scale, aside from rigs where you will have supply problem, you need to get out of I. So. Our, log our, our entire logic uh, with guns was we need to find, we need to get access to a station that is in low sec. Because, uh, well, obviously, null is not that easy. Uh, and wormhole is, uh, we also, the feeling that we have is that wormhole is, is probably going to be harder for us than, uh, than low. At least that's, that's, that was our reflection before. So with that in mind, we scouted a bunch of uh, of 
uh, low sex system. Our prerequisite was because we still have a lot of we, we wanted to have the transition uh, between high and low. So we wanted people to be in the in die sec mainland, but with access to low like what we had in I range here. Uh, and uh, we scouted a bunch of them and we tried to anchor in uh, Lorant. Uh, Loran. And it didn't go so well. So, as you will see here. As you will see here, uh, it didn't go so well. Uh, I got cocky. <laughs> Uh, I I scouted the system for two days, uh, so just so people know a little bit like what went what went behind an operation like this anchoring. So we scouted the the system for two days to find the pattern and confirm that it was not a busy system. From what we saw, it wasn't. We scout we scanned all the moon to find the best moon in the system. As the idea was to anchor an Atenor, but potentially do moon mining also, because we want to do re uh, reaction and we want the moon goo for reaction. So we we did we did the scanning. We did we did after that contact all the large entity that had station in. We had three, there there were three entity that had station in system. So we contacted them, make sure that they didn't see any problem with us as, uh, anchoring there. Uh, so that part was there and we did notice that in the system there was a local semi-active pirate but they look small in number so we did have on pro run cover for us when we were anchoring uh, what we didn't expect though is that for for anchoring of station you would have that amount of people that would show up so they did come in with the bunch of Vicky and Lashak and uh, so there was like what 14 15 people we had also we also had like a good number for for protection we had like 12 people 12 for 12 13 people uh, but uh, we weren't expecting that kind of resistance so we weren't fitted for for that amount of enemy so we didn't bring we had like as some destroyer forget a couple of couple of us in battle cruiser but i mean going after that fleet would just have uh, padded the kill board more on their side so uh, we just decided not to engage especially since they had sino in place so uh, we we just aborted the see no, no forgiven pillage rat uh, clouds of war so that's three uh three group that were there uh Part of Eve. <laughs> Not much I can do about that. I should have been less cocky, maybe, and anchor one station at a time. I should have scanned more. I should have uh, looked more at the di at diplomacy, uh, try and see, okay, the local group active, uh, parse their kill board a little more, see if they had allies. I should have expecting, expected something more. I didn't, so I made a mistake. It cost me about the building structure. Should happen. Uh, and I was kind of in a hurry because I wanted the guys to have a new home there. So uh, we're kind of uh, checking Loran out of our potential target. So with that being said, uh, that that's kind of what impacted the uh, the profit. Uh, the, that's why we didn't have a big progression this week. Uh, but we what did compensate is not that we did a lot of mining or industrial activity this week is that uh, we got donation we got like two two point well, almost 2.3 bill uh, donation from member so that more than made up for the for the blown up structure so thank you guys uh, really appreciated it does help the corp going forward when we're in that uh, the bad spot the bad spot we're in now uh, i i don't hide what is happening I, I try to be as transparent because like i said the value i think of my siri is that you're you saw me grow from a noob to a ceo you saw me go through a burnout you need to see 
the bad the bad situation as well as the good because you need to i mean it, it's all part of managing a corp in eve so it, it won't you won't always get uh, you, you won't always win <laughs> and this uh, the, the last few few weeks were we were not we're not uh, we're not progressing as we used to hopefully we will so now we're back to finding out where we're going to go uh, next okay i will tell you what are not an option because i, I i'm getting suggestion okay i i spend almost half my time in game answering mail uh, or and a lot of time on uh, on discord talking with different people uh, that are uh, that are willing that that want to offer help or that want to offer advice or that want me to go join their group uh, there's I, I got a lot of, of offer from different alliance uh, so i'm just gonna try and explain like my thought process in there not i'm always not a guy to say like a hard no 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 uh, everything is negotiable uh, you can i mean you can't have like dead set ideas but there's stuff that you you know you're not very favor favorable to uh, what is not an option or what i don't see myself doing in the near future uh anchoring in isec like i told you at the beginning of this video uh for me the risk because there is a risk you you can get war deck uh, and people will come and shoot your station uh, they have in the past i had more trouble with my isec station than my low sec one uh, there is a risk and the reward is not just worth it because if we are to stay in isec I don't think we should be doing industry. I think we should not be building and we shouldn't be contributing to the problem, which is margin are low because there's too much stuff on the market. So people fight and sell them too low. And people, uh, that, that, that's my perception of the market right now. So anyway, I don't think the risk versus reward of anchoring in ISEC is worth it. Uh, we could join an ISEC alliance but that's this kind of the same thing. ISEC industry is, uh, would I rent an office at some other player ISEC station? Well, yeah, if I can get a better uh, rate than what I would get at an NPC station. Uh, but I still, I mean, still it would, that's that's not our main goal because our main goal is to do more advanced industry which mean reaction and we want to do more efficient industry which mean low sec refining at least low sec refining and low sec uh, production bonus stuff that I, i've also put outside is taking uh, guns into an established uh, null sec group being the entire corp or the members of guns uh, into a nice sec entity the thing is most of the member that have followed me and uh, that have uh, stick with me uh, from the beginning and that are still in the corp they're people that want to build their own stuff they want to they, they have to they're attached to the corp name they're they're attached to the group to what we've built together as a group and we want to uh, make our place in the group and joining an established group is kind of pressing the i win button it's okay you're giving me a system with a fully rigged tatara and a sotoyo and okay so uh, what do I do? I just use that thing. I, where's my sense of pride in having acquired that? Is There's none. So th that for me is as simple as that. I don't want the stuff ended to me on a platter. It's not interesting. Uh, what I do consider for Tanak, and I have a few discussion with that, is maybe me as a player, uh, run guns with Erica and have Tanak run operation for a month or two with a with another group to acquire PvP knowledge or skill to be a better PvP player. Uh, 
because that is what is lacking is our our personally as a as a even though i initially i didn't want to pew pew uh, well it's not that i don't want to pew pew I'm, i'm not a guy that hate pvp i'm just a guy that don't like pvp for pvp's sake i like i don't mind fighting for purpose i don't mind fighting to defend a station fighting to take an objective to shoot somebody's stuff out of the way because i don't want it there i mean i don't mind combat in the game i mind i mind i don't like pointless combat i want my combat to have a purpose i don't know if it makes sense but it makes sense to me so anyway uh so so me going in an all group personally maybe but i don't want to have the corp join uh and 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 that's the i don't want to have the corp join because honestly i've we've talked with the member and so far uh the people that are already that were interested in null already left uh, with the null division and i would say that part of the burden of being a ceo was when i had to start uh, splitting the corp in two and so there's a lot of stuff that we would do different now right now guns are us is going to be a single group it is one corp and that corp doesn't hold any structure and i have one holding corp that i will that i will put uh if we ever anchor other try to anchor other structure in there the, the, the structure are going to be in the holding corp and they are going to be low sec only so we can defend them with the main group without the fear of getting a war deck and isec so that's how we're going to do and i'm anyway i don't have the military power right now to start building a poco empire anybody can come in and shut, shut us down so there's no point in trying to build that uh if you if you can defend it so we were gonna the idea is to minimize what we have on grid or uh, anchored uh, keep our structure footprint to a minimum for us to operate which is one atenor and one uh, uh one atenor and one retaru in low so the option we're considering operating out of an npc station with a network of blue around us to compress so owning no no station but having like access to other people's station uh, in the nearby space where we operate and basically run as a mining corp because we would be running out of uh, out of eye until we are ready to anchor so that would be like uh, take a week or two at least to recruit pvp members start to assess our strength a little bit uh, start to take more time to do proper recon of the system where we're going to anchor before uh, going to going to anchor so that's that's an option the other option is basically the same thing have a, have access to isec mining but find a wormhole corporation that would allow us to refine and mine in their wormhole because wormhole is actually wormhole industry is actually very efficient and the idea would be to basically produce the produce there and get it out and sell it uh, sell it uh, at any other market any other market up so we would need to be building stuff that we can get out of the wormhole uh, this is a possibility uh, but we we what i'm scared about this option is the youtube plus the wormhole i am i'm not as <laughs> i'm far from a celebrity but i do have a significant number of people that watch my content every week and that so being public and and even if i hide the the wormhole where we are uh, it's only a matter of time before a guy uh, died to a stupid death and then you can see the wormhole on our kill, on our killboard so that i think is a recipe for unwanted content so the idea would not be to live in the wormhole as much as to do a occasional jump there 
to produce and refine. And even if it's just refine, is that 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 would still be interesting. So that's a that's one thing we're considering. Uh, the other option, and again, probably combining with the first one, is to look for another low sec uh, system, uh, aside from another one in Laurent, because like there was 27 people. I, I don't know if we did something, but there was a lot of people today when I went to pick up uh, what we had left there. So find another low sec neighboring ISEC to anchor. Uh, we it still give us the same PVP issue. Uh, once my structure are anchor, I'm a little more confident in my ability to uh, get people to help. Uh, anchoring for, I didn't want to call, like I didn't want a bat phone for anchoring a structure. So I, I did have friend come over to help but uh, I didn't have like I didn't have something planned in case the person in front of us had a sino and bad calculation from my part. So <laughs> that that's it. Uh, but then once they're anchor, is a little bit easier. But still, uh, there the PvP is an issue for now. But I mean, uh, day one when I anchor and I avenger, I was alone. So. It was suicidal, <laughs> retrospectively. It shouldn't have worked, but it did. So maybe I just got lucky, lucky initially. And maybe this is more a real, realistic approach. So far, my batting average in Korean in Losec is 50%. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, the other option that we have is uh, joining a Losec alliance. And I would actually prefer something more like uh, a, not necessarily being part of an alliance as much as being part of a, a network of blue where I would own my where, where guns would have their own station but where we would have like a, a bunch of blue working together that that would be something that is good uh, because as a group if there's a group that has strong military, what we can bring to the table is, well, our small military as a boost, but mostly we can we can supply we can build and supply locally with a lot of uh, a lot of item, so we can we can be an asset to a group if they want to develop an industrial base in their area. So th this is something that that we would think. Uh, but for me, I only consider that an option if we're, if gun isn't stripped of its soul <laughs> or its identity. I, what I want is I will, I mean, I would want guns to keep guns discord, having our own station. I mean, we want to build our stuff. So that, that's the, the idea there. Uh, I, but anyway, that, that's, that's something that we're considering. And, if you look at my series since the beginning, I was always dead set on renting. I'm not a big fan. I don't think it is a viable long-term solution. Uh, I think that as an industrial group, you, you bring a lot to an area when you come in uh, because you, you give the group the, the possibility to acquire, the, to, to have what they need to operate locally instead of having to go to Jita, you can agree upon and uh, you can agree that you will sell locally at Jita price. You can, there's a lot of stuff that you can, you can do beforehand. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of renting, but at the same time, if it's my only option to do I an industry, uh, I might consider it. Like, like like I said, I sometime I change my mind and I was I I still don't like the principle. I don't want to do it, but at the same time, I mean I want to provide content to my members too. So, uh, but for me, I don't view this as something that is a long-term solution. So for uh, so it, it is. I mean, 
but but again it, it depends but the thing is we did we don't want to move all the way to null so kind of limit that possibility there so basically that that's that's the uh, the reflection that we we had now uh, what's coming next week uh, well we need right now internally uh, in the corp we're running a survey on exactly what the people want uh, their approach what, how they consider pvp do they want to like go a full care bear or not so we're, we're surveying each of our uh, each of our member try and see where they want to focus uh, I, s I mean are a setup similar to what we had in Ivanger but with a less busy system would be ideal uh, if it comes with station that al already have the nice rigs and everything else and it's a station where and it's a place where we can get blue with the local that's good Pro if the if the rates are are interesting ideally we would want a place where we can anchor and live on our own uh, and where the system is calm enough that we don't have to be fighting every day uh, but I, I still do expect that we will fight eventually. So anyway, that's that's about it for, for I mean, uh, hopefully, hopefully by next week, by uh, Friday next week, we will have uh, found our, our forever home or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think that the Quantum Core patch, I think that a lot of people are overreacting the place where it will though have an impact i think is isec uh, because this is the land of the like the little solo or small corp uh, home where they they have like because you can have a, a group of uh, five ten people owning their little station and and in isec and probably not making them that much money but it, i mean they they can enjoy that gameplay and and that i think there i'm not sure but i think ccp is probably making a mistake with that not not a huge uh, i mean i understand what they're doing it but it will impact I, my feeling is that it will impact negatively those players i'm i'm not somebody that thinking uh, oh there's going to be a wind of panic and every station are going to be shut down uh, in isec and low sec is going to be the apocalypse or no but i do think that it will encourage uh bore bored powerful group to pick a new because they're going to get a monetary gain for that and that i don't think it's a super super good idea uh, but I, I mean this is their game i always have the opportunity to to do something else if i don't like it so anyway personally i think now that low sec is probably safer than than i uh for station uh, because people attacking you i don't I, i'm not sure if i said it earlier did i my, my other video this week i don't remember but if uh if you anchor in isec somebody deck you you he can come and shoot your station without outside interference you, you, okay you can add people to your war deck you can invite the allies and everything but i mean he knows what he's gonna face if he wants to come out and shoot at your station in low sec he doesn't know when somebody's gonna blop his ass so so there, there is an element of risk in attacking low sex station for the attacker that you don't have as much in isec and i think that provide a natural barrier i would say against people going free for all in low and that barrier is not there anymore in i 
is not there. And I and you add you just added a financial incentive for people to 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 look out for these kind of conflicts. So yeah, so that's about it. That's my thought on it. So hopefully by next week we will have at least a temporary setup that works. Uh, hopefully. I'll be able to play the game a little bit because now I'm mostly in the in the mode of uh, finding a home for the corp. Uh, and well, that's it. So if leave a comment, uh, if you have a suggestion, talk to me in game, uh, talk to, get me in the, on Discord. Uh, always a pleasure to talk with you guys and uh, see you guys next week. Bye bye.